like to make a WPT final table in Jacksonville? Actually going deep in the tournament, playing against a lot of other really thoughtful players was very interesting. But the finals table itself was something of a letdown because I pretty much showed up, lost every hand I played, and then was eliminated in fifth. And the only hand that really was of interest was when Will Fiala accidentally mucked the best hand to me, which is just strange, and I'm sure might make for great segment material, but everything else was very straightforward. What has the experience of being the Rod Deal host been like for you? It's been a great time. Essentially, I was just given a segment where I was allowed to watch poker footage and then try and create a combination of educational material and a bunch of sarcastic quips about most of the people that I know and grew up with. What the hell is going on here? And that's all I could think when watching Vanessa play her top pair against Andrew's pocket queen. I'm Tony Dunst. Let's break it down. It's been really fun to both write and perform that segment, plus all the additional duties that come with the job and socializing with WPT staff, being there for all the events on the tour and getting to see all the various stops. I mean, I've just had a great time. As a spectator, what six players would be at your dream final table? Absolute top talent. If you take like a Jason Mercier, uh, you take like a, an Elkie. And then if you wanted wild entertainment value, you have to have like a Phil Hellmuth, a Will Fiala, maybe a Dwight Pilgrim in there to really shake things up. <laughs> And who am I going to use my sixth pick on? I would have to be the spectator slash commentator, so I'll take a combination of the two and go with Lucky Chewy. Away from the table, you're known as being a ladies' man. What's the biggest mistake guys make with women? I would say the biggest mistake guys make is not trying. Most are afraid to go and approach a woman or go talk to a girl that they find attractive. But if you don't go and actually try and sort of work out what works for you and what doesn't, then you'll never get any better at that. You'll never become more comfortable at it. And I think what women really respond to is a guy who's comfortable with himself and comfortable speaking to them and just doesn't make a big deal of the fact that they're speaking to an attractive woman. Your confidence of, in your performance in just about anything is, is usually a result of the practice you've put into it. There's been a lot of talk lately about the appropriate dress for a final table. Give me your thoughts. I think that poker should not have a dress code save for, you know, TV final table type things. And that even then it should be mild, you know, just pants, uh, a collared shirt of some kind, and shoes that aren't sandals. Potential sponsors, and really the whole of media is about presentation. And if the outside world views poker as this collection of gamblers who even when the stakes are high and they're there at a televised final table look like bums, there's no real incentive to invest in our industry. I think a lot of young players are so focused on what's happening on the table that they're not quite aware that our game is larger and broader than that and that the health of the industry affects their bottom line at the end of the day. You know, I would encourage people to become aware of the presentation aspect and how professionalism can help us all.